Hey guys, I'm here with the all new Toyota Crown outside of Nashville, Tennessee. I just got done driving it. I can't share those impressions or pricing or miles per gallon, but I can share what this vehicle is all about through a walk around. Definitely stay tuned for October 25th. That's when I can share all the official information here. I'm really digging this pearl white uh, that doesn't have the two-tone color on it, nor does that Hybrid Max, the Platinum, that doesn't have the two-tone. I prefer these vehicles without that two-tone. I just think it looks real clean uh, having that you know beautiful paint color throughout the vehicle. Now this Hybrid Max, AKA Platinum, has a lot of upgrades on, on the outside. We have huge 21-inch black with machine finish wheels. We have the upgraded quad beam headlights here with a daytime running line at the top as well. Oh, this fly got nailed. He got nailed. And then we also have a daytime running light that kind of goes around the front here that isn't on it right now, but it does come on, on at night. Now we don't have the Crown logo here in the United States, but we have that Toyota logo here on the front. It still looks pretty premium in my opinion, going to the side here. And this is the striking thing about the Crown. They call it a sedan. It's kind of sedan. It's kind of crossover with how high you sit up in it. Uh, but you have that sloping roof line here that flows into a trunk. Um, we go to the back. Of course, it's the top line platinum trim. Platinums only come with the hybrid max powertrain with the 2.4 liter. You got to have that crown lettering on the back. We also have the LED strip that goes all the way around the back on every single grade. The button to get in the back here lifts up just like a trunk. Nothing crazy, it's not motorized. I guess that'd be more of a Lexus feature. Uh, and then we have pull down seats here to fold down that 60-40 split. Nice Toyota crown mat here in the back as well. Uh, luckily we have a handle, so even though we don't have a push button to close it, boom, oh, you know what? This is important as well. Every single crown is made in Japan at the Motomachi plant for now. They might expand to other plants, but yes, they're all imported from Japan as the Avalon closes production here uh, in North America at the Kentucky plant, so man cool looking vehicle nothing else looks like it. and i think that's one of the selling points of this if you want to look different if you want to be unique if you want to stand out if you want to turn heads here's the toyota crown and you have that great japanese build quality you have that legendary nameplate that is the crown first time in america for uh in over 50 years crown at the door sill here crown on the mat we have leather black leather of course we have this nice little gold trim and that's kind of like an homage to its royalty right you also have gold trim around the window controls we have power folding mirrors on every single trim level here's memory seats on the platinum uh soft touch right here doors are pretty pretty basic there is the lighter interiors or the brown interior as well that has kind of a two-tone color now get on the inside amazing steering wheel excellent there are paddle shifters in here to row through the six gears um, and then you also have radio controls at the bottom this glossy black and then driver assist aka safety features here and this will customize uh, your 12 inch mid here pretty cool i've never seen anything like this in a toyota before very high quality also crazy amounts of information like I just don't ever remember seeing this sort of technology on a Toyota or even a Lexus before. New for Toyota is this new Toyota interface here um, that has wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and Google points of interest. Uh, and you can also see the energy flow here. We do have a big fat E-axle in the back uh, that is unique to this Hybrid Max, a nickel metal hydride battery, an electric motor between the engine and the six-speed automatic transmission. Of course, ventilated and heated seats in this platinum trim as well as heated steering wheel. And we have a wireless charger down here that is fan cooled. You also have parking assist here, uh, which I'm not gonna do. And then we also have a 360 camera button there. Let it do its thing. Uh, and then we have that gold trim around the shifter here as well. Multiple drive modes, and you can see how that changes on the MID here with a cool little graphic. Once you get to the red ones, uh, the engine kicked on and uh, you know that's the sport the sport plus this does have adaptive variable suspension on this platinum grade couple usb c's here and i uh, have nice uh, usable usable cup holders here more of that gold trim that goes across around the vents as well soft touch on the dash and a beautiful little volume knob here very centrally located with a great amount of resistance to it we have a armrest that opens up on both sides we have a 12 volt as well as a usb a to connect your devices auto dimming rear view mirror with garage control we don't have a digital rear view mirror here here's the panoramic roof which is standard on this grade as well as a limited and i'm going to get in the back seat to show you 
what kind of accommodation it is for your passengers back here. Now, like I said, you can fold these seats down. We have that nice trim around the outside as well. The JBL sound system in here, uh, 11 speakers, I believe it's 800 watts, heated seats on the Limited and the Platinum. And we also have USB-Cs back here with uh, some vents. So overall, the experience in this vehicle on the inside is very, very similar, if not nearly identical to what we see on the limited grade. The biggest difference with this car is going to be under the hood. So let's go ahead and pop the hood to check out that hybrid max powertrain. Now we have an aluminum hood here with a kickstand so it doesn't have shocks to keep it up. Here's that turbo four cylinder that's mated to a six speed auto with that electric motor sandwich in between. You also have that full time all wheel drive system with the E axle in the back. Can't talk about miles per gallon, but I'll talk about uh, that when the embargo ends as well as my driving impressions. So as I walk away from this Hypermax uh, white model, I wanted to show you this red model. I like this supersonic red paint color and this two-tone. It's not my cup of tea, but that I like having the option. I like how Toyota is not being boring. This two-tone paint color is anything but boring. It kind of has like a nice mask to it. Kind of, You definitely can tell this is Japanese styling built into this vehicle. And I like how this is diamond plated here, but it's solid, so it makes it more aerodynamic. And then we get onto the side of this vehicle, and on the top you can see the panel roof is all black, and this portion right here is black, unlike the white uh, non-two-tone color. So this is blacked out as well, as well as the trunk lid here. Uh, for this hybrid max platinum edition but guys stay tuned i can't wait to share so much more with you of with this crown driving event all my walk arounds as well as driving impressions of the new highlander turbo and the revised and refreshed corolla hybrid as well catch you next time